Hello boys, um, Mr Flynn here, Mr Osborne's here as well. We're with Dylan De Costa, one of the old boys of the school. He's going to go through some sprint technique stuff you can do at home. Over to you Dylan. Uh, so, with our festivals you get warm up, the actual like, activity, what you're doing, and um, cool down. So warm up, it's a nice 30 minute uh, warm up, make sure your body's all like warm and ready to exercise because when you're sprinting you're trying to run the fast as fast as you can which requires your body to be like pushed um so obviously you don't think it's probably hard but uh it can have like a lot of strain on your body and you can easily get hamstring injuries um and many other injuries that could be make you out for like six months and that in the warm up, we have so just basically ankling, just spin your ankles around 10 times, then you go back round 10 times, do the same with your opposite leg. So, why would you do this for sprinting? So, obviously, you'll be using a lot of your ankles, um, mainly because when you're running, you're on your toes and you're not really running flat footed, so you always basically land on your toes. Okay. And it, even in videos, when you see You'll see people that basically look like they're running flat footed, but they're actually not. Their heels basically just slightly above the ground. So when you're doing it, so you land on your toes, and it's basically always up on your toes when you're running. So basically, so you basically want to do it so your muscles around your ankles are all nice, warm, and strong. Um, otherwise, you can literally like tear a muscle. And so yeah, aim to keep your hips forward. Your arms can just come up and your nose basically and your face keeping straight ahead of you and you're just spinning and then this one's basically gonna open up your muscles in your back and do that about 10 times um, back and forth and then when you do it after the 10th one you'll start moving your face so it'll be without moving your face and then moving your face all the way around again you can try and keep your hips forward uh, which is a good thing and obviously this is just open up all the muscles in your back because when you're running you're using your arms as well. Uh, basically, at this, so you're basically rocking back and forth, trying to like keep your legs straight, uh, your back straight as well. You push your like bum out and you go down to basically touch your toes, but you just keep your hands on your hip and then you go back. So the boys are just hinging at their hips in this one and arching their back. And then leading on from that one, basically going around a circle. Ah, so as if they were hula hooping? Yeah. Yeah, basically if you're hula hooping, but you're also trying to lean with it. So if your bum goes out, your body goes forward, and it's just basically keeping that thing going around. So you can do it 10 one, uh, one direction, 10 the other direction. Um, and the next one would be basically scorpions, trying to keep your shoulder, uh, shoulders on the floor and then try and get your feet to your hands and then on this one you're trying to keep your heel on the floor you basically have your hands on the wall to basically just help you keep your balance you're just going to go back and forth trying to get your leg up to about a nice degree angle or high if you're able to so you're also trying to swing it back this way. So it's just basically that. You do it the other foot. So we're trying to open up our hips, um, groins and glutes in this. Yeah. And then it'll be sideways. Again, use your foot that's close to the wall. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Your arm up and swing it back and then touch the Try and get your foot up to your eye level at the same time. 